Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a RAID 1 mirror drive within Windows. And what a RAID 1 mirror drive is, it's when you have two hard drives that are acting as one. So let's say you have two uh, one terabyte drives and you mirror them together. So you still have only one terabyte of space, but what happens is it makes a copy or a mirror. So every time you write to one, it's writing to the other. And therefore, if one of those drives crashes, you still have all your data intact. So it's kind of like a safety net, if you will, um, to where you could have two drives with the same information on them. So if one dies, then you could um, go back to, you know, and still use the other one. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to do this in a virtual machine in VirtualBox. So I have this Windows 10 VM, and here is my, my system drive with Windows on it. And I just added these two five gigabyte drives. I just did it small just not to you know take up a bunch of space on my hard drive here since it's storing these drives on my local computer here. So I have two five gigabyte drives. And so now I have the VM booted up. And so what you want to do is you want to go into disk management. So you could just do a search for that. You could use Cortana or the built-in Windows search. And so when you see this create and format hard disk partitions, that's the one you want. And now since this is the first time I booted up this computer and opened up disk management, it's going to ask me what I want to do here. So it wants to initialize both of these disks. And they're going to have a choice here of MBR or GPT. So MBR, which is master boot record, is the older method. You know, it's you know, it's like be more compatible for older operating systems, and it uses partitions and as a bootloader. But we don't need a bootloader because these are just secondary drives here. But the thing with MBR is you can only have a two terabyte uh, size. So if you have something larger than two terabytes, you're going to want to use GPT which is a newer standard and you can have, you know, multiple partitions. I think it's 128 for Windows and you can have much, much larger hard drive sizes. So we're going to check, pick GPT, click OK. OK, so now a little more room here. You can see we have these two five gigabyte disks and they're online. So what I want to do is right click on one of them and do new mirrored volume and then next and I says you can see I selected disk one first you could you could start from disk two if you want so that one's already selected so now it's going to ask me what I want to what disk I want to include in my mirror so I'm going to pick the other one add it over there and see how it tells me the maximum size is five gigabytes that's even though we have two five gigabyte drives or ten gigabytes that's what I'm saying where you're going to lose the storage space in one of those drives for the mirror because it's only going to use the space from one of the drives. So we're going to click Next, and we're going to give it a drive letter. Let's just do uh, let's do M for mirror. Next, and then you know you can format it, give it a name like you would any other drive. I'll just call it mirror. Let's do a quick format. Next, and here's the details. Finish. And now what it's going to tell you now, it's going to take these basic disks and convert them to dynamic disks, which is what you need for RAID type volumes. Because with dynamic disks, you could extend volumes and do that kind of thing. So we're going to say yes. Now you can see now the color turned to red and it actually opened up the mirror drive in Windows Explorer here. So here's our two mirror drives, healthy, five gigabytes each. And then, like I said, we could copy data into here, just like it was a normal drive, and then we have our redundancy. So, you know, pretty simple. You know, just like I said, just add your drives. If it's a physical computer, you have to actually go in and add two physical drives if you have room for them. Then go into disk management, initialize them, create a mirror, format it, and then that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for watching.